Hello everyone. This is the Snazzy FX Dream Boat, a module that is based on a chaos system. Now, uh, it's not a, a noise generator and it's not a, an oscillator. It's a bit of both, really. It can generate no, no uh, noise and it also can can oscillate, uh, but oscillate in a weird way. Uh, before I describe the front panel and uh, show you the frequency response let's just uh, have a look at how chaos systems work this is actually based this module is based on a on a circuit called the qua circuit this circuit has been confirmed as a chaos circuit chaotic circuit it's actually the simplest circuit that exhibits uh, chaotic behavior so uh, Simply, what you do, what you do, uh, what has been done uh, to show the chaotic behavior is to take the voltage on those two capacitors, C1 and C2, and the uh, current on the inductor L. L. So, uh, guess what you get? You get something like this. You, uh, if you so, uh, consider the X. Uh, X and Y and Z as the voltages of the two capacitors and and the current that uh, that uh, that the inductor we just show we just showed the three values just plot them into this 3d uh, th uh, 3d space here so you get something like a point moving around two circles as, as you can see it's, it's it's like orbiting two planets it's like a moon orbiting two planets uh, sometimes this moon switches to one planet and sometimes goes to the other planet and it takes different paths the, the path is not fixed as you can see uh, so you can see here how this uh, this is interesting because it oscillates but it doesn't oscillate the same way every time every time it take, takes a diff, different path and a different uh, way of oscillation so if you take those coordinates uh, x y and z and put them in a, in a module what do you what do you get you get an oscill you get three oscillators right uh, so that's exactly what has been done here in this module he gives you x and y but uh, he doesn't uh, there is no z here i don't know why maybe it's uh, it's not measurable or maybe he found that uh, the results are not really that interesting it could be but anyway the thing that you have the two outputs that you have here is uh, you can say two dimensional x y instead, instead of three, three dimensions x and y so uh, but actually you have two it seems that as, as far as I know you have two cir qua circuits inside this you have a circuit oscillating at uh, radio uh, audio rate and the other is uh, low frequency so if a low frequency oscillator you can uh, you can assume so uh, the outputs for the out uh, the CV and the outputs for the first uh, oscillator audio rate oscillators are here and here are the knobs and the second one LFO is here and here are the knobs and I will talk about this in a moment um, this is the X and Y this is the X and Y two outputs and you have uh, pitch control here for the oscillation for the oscillator you have scale control S same thing here pitch control uh, scale control uh, obviously uh, uh, this is high uh, this, is, uh, this is high pitch this is only uh, only low pitch because this is low frequency oscillator uh, you have also CV for each pitch CV for this pitch and this CV for this pitch uh, once you connect a CV here this and this change changes from scale into an attenuator for these CVs so this is it. Once you put a cable here, uh, this becomes an attenuator for this CV, and this also. Once you put a cable here, this will uh, become an attenuator for this CV. So these are, these actually have two functions. So um, the the third thing that you have here is a gate output. It's a random gate, and this is the threshold. Uh, for this gate output the more to the right the more gates you have the less to uh, the to the left the, the more to the left you you get less gates outputs so uh, let's get something done here okay let's hear the x of the audio rate uh, chaotic oscillator uh, as you can 
frequency. It's noisy. But it still oscillates at the main frequency. You can see the main frequency here. Uh, 600, about 650, 640 hertz. Which is around uh, uh, D and E note. Uh, unfortunately, this you cannot move this uh, main frequency, even with the pitch. It doesn't really move, it moves only slightly. Uh, uh, what moves is really the noise, the noise character of the, the module. So you can get also stable oscillation here, as you can see. Or you can get something like this. It's at different scale. It's good to start with these knobs on three o'clock, by the way. It's written in the manual and I and I find it really useful. to get interesting results with this one you have to work it out uh, uh, after all this is uh, the circuit is, isn't made for audio it wasn't uh, was a snazzy effect uh, uh, tickets and squeezed everything out of it to make it just uh, sound interesting so you have to work your way on it uh, let's modulate uh, the CV the uh, the pitch with the uh, with my micro LFO. This is sine wave from the micro LFO. Right? Low rate. High rate. I'm changing the rate of the I'm changing the rate of the LFO, higher or lower. This is very low. Okay, let's see the... Let's play with the scale a little bit. Noise generator. Oh, it's different. So it can give you also something similar to a. So, yeah. This can stabilize, can stabilize, and can be completely chaotic. But it's still not strictly noise. You can see noise. I can show you my noise from. Uh, the dog for A118. This is white noise. So it's totally different. As you can see, there is no main frequency here. This is red noise from the same module. Again. Still modulating with micro -info. Okay, there are a few quirks here. Uh, let me show you one of them. Set the, these knobs to the shown positions, and uh, believe it or not, the audio rate uh, chaotic oscillator is related to this knob, which is completely different. It's related to the gate, actually. I don't know, but set it to this position, then connect the Y output, and you can see. Uh, by the way, I'm having hi high gain here because this the, this thing needs high gain now. This patch uh, exploits a quirk. Uh, you're, you're seeing some uh, oscillations here. These are not from the module, obviously. These are from ground noise and st stuff like that because I have high gain. Uh, see this boiling th thing here? 
Okay, I'm going to emphasize this using, uh, I'll give it a little higher gain. So you can hear it a little bit. Yeah. And then I'm going to connect it to a bandpass filter. Connecting it to a bandpass filter now. Just a minute. Look at this. I'm emphasizing that little noise here. Oh, I cannot say it's noise, it's something like. I don't know. Let's move the frequency. Yeah. So uh, that's one thing. Okay, now let's use the modulator, the chaotic mod modulator, the second row. I'm going to modulate the pitch of my uh, Z3000 v VCO. Uh, first, I'll show you the waveform. It's a sine wave. So it's obviously not a com not a pure sine wave. Uh, as you can see, this is the fundamental frequency, and there are more harmonics here. If it was a pure sine wave, you will see only this one. Anyway, it is normal with analog uh, uh, analog VCOs that are not sine core. Uh, I guess this is a v uh, sawtooth core or something. Anyway, I'm just saying that this is not a pure sine wave. Anyway, uh, let's modulate the pitch. Oh, sorry. Speeding up the LFO. Second modulator. Uh, I'll increase the pitch of the uh, of the of the Z three thousand. Second one. See, you can, uh, if you, you have to play with it, you can easily get no response here sometimes. Let me just, yeah. Let's try FM, modulating FM. Back to Vols per active. Let's try the sawtooth of the Z3000. This is the square wave. Modulated by the snazzy effects. Why? Right, final, final thing is the uh, gate. Uh, it's a random gate. So, uh, 
what I'm what I'm gonna do I'm gonna going to connect the my Z3000 VCO to uh, to my output uh, which is a micro VCA then I'm going to uh, to connect a uh, and the ADSR uh, dope for ADSR a quad ADSR to the to the micro VCA and then I'm going to gate that ADSR by the this module okay uh, it's all connected just uh, I'll connect the gate to the ADSR as you can see now the the gate is triggering the ADSR and the ADSR is controlling my VCA so it's giving you the output you see increase the frequency of the VCO change the form of the ADSR yeah so that's how frequent more frequency more frequent with the threshold I'm not sure if it's giving much more so, well yeah now it's less but not much less it's more but it kind of doesn't do anything in this area anyway about it. Hope you enjoyed.